Let's make Storybook our own with a custom theme. It's super easy. All you need is a seven by three aspect ratio image, a text editor, and a strong preference for light or dark color themes. Let's dive in. This tutorial requires a little bit of uncommon setup, so let's get that out of the way first. In the storybook directory, create a new manager module. In this file, we'll make two imports, one for add-ons from manager API, and a second for themes from theming. Save that, and then in your public directory, add an image that's 350 pixels wide by 150 pixels tall. I put mine on a transparent background so that it'll work in light or dark modes. Now we're ready to set our theme. Use the add-on set config function and provide an object with the property themes using themes normal. The normal theme is the default one that we get that responds to the user's preferred color scheme. However, we can set an explicit theme with values light or dark. I'll use light so that we can see the change. Reset the storybook server and refresh. Now storybook will always show this light theme. Now we're using a light theme, but our configuration options are limited. Let's refactor this with the create function to create create a new theme. To provide a full theme object, import create from storybook theming, then call create with an object. To kick things off, we'll use the base property with the value light. This is functionally equivalent to what we had before, but with the benefit of giving us more options for configuration. And setting the base means that we don't have to override all the values, just the ones that we care about. Okay, so we know that the most important part of any project is the logo. So let's add one using our custom theme. Add the properties brand title, brand URL, brand image, and brand target to customize the image and URL of this storybook logo section. The brand Brand image can be any public image, but I'm using the Chan dev image that we're serving publicly from this public directory. Hit save, restart our storybook server, and refresh to see the new logo with accompanying title. And when we click it, it takes us to the provided URL. With our custom theme in place, Storybook allows a number of options for configuring colors, typography, etc. Let's run through a few and then I'll link out to the rest. We use Storybook theme variables to set the colors of various UI elements. Here I'm using secondary color, app background, app border color, app border radius, text color, and bar text color to set a theme that matches my aesthetic. Restart the server one last time and see our new theme. We have this yellow focus theme, our buttons are now yellow, and we have this matching warmer background color. So now you know how to theme Storybook. We learned how to add configuration for a theme, extend that theme, and most importantly of all, add our very cool logo. If you have specific items that you'd like to theme that we didn't cover in this video, I'm gonna recommend that you read the docs. There's a number of properties and they're all listed out there for you to copy and paste into your theme code. So that's it for today. If you found this helpful, give it a like and check out one of these videos to extend your Storybook learning. I'm Chantastic. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.